What happens when one of the most popular free software projects in the world splits into two competing versions? You get a lot of confusion. This is the exact story of two free office suites that look almost identical, Apache OpenOffice and LibreOffice. They come from the exact same original code, but today they are in very different places. One of them is actively growing and getting better every month, while the other has mostly been left behind. In this video, we are going to do a direct comparison of OpenOffice and LibreOffice to help you understand which one is the clear choice for almost everyone today. Let's start with a very quick history lesson because it is the most important part of this comparison. A long time ago, there was a popular free office suite called OpenOffice.org. It was a great alternative to Microsoft Office. However, many of the developers who worked on the project became unhappy with how it was being managed by the company that owned it at the time. So, in 2010, a large group of these developers decided to take the existing software code and start a brand new independent project. This new project was called LibreOffice. They wanted to create a more modern and community-driven version of the Office Suite. The original OpenOffice project was later given to the Apache Foundation, and it is now known as Apache OpenOffice. Now, let's look at the current reality of these two projects, because this is what really matters. After the split, almost all of the energy and excitement from the open source community went to LibreOffice. It has a huge team of active developers from around the world, and it gets major new updates with new features and better performance every six months. It has much better compatibility with modern Microsoft Office files like DocX and XLSX documents, and it is always improving its security and stability. Apache OpenOffice, on the other hand, has had a very different story since the split. Its development has been incredibly slow. It receives very few updates and major new features are almost non-existent. While it is still available to download and it works, it feels like a piece of software that has been mostly frozen in time. Many people in the tech community consider it to be a project that is no longer actively maintained in a serious way. So which free office suite should you use today? While they share a common history, the choice is very clear. LibreOffice is the living, breathing, and constantly improving version of the project. It has better features, better compatibility with all of your other documents, and better security because it is actively updated by a large community. Apache OpenOffice was once a great and very important tool, but it has not kept up with the modern world. For any user who wants a powerful, secure, and up-to-date free office suite, LibreOffice is the obvious and highly recommended choice. All right, that's it for this comparison. I hope this look into the history of these two projects makes your decision easy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.